Hey guys, it's Agosti Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with Augmented Reality in Unity. We're going to start by creating a new manager that is going to give us information for both of the eyes. We're going to get the position and also the rotation. The first demo that we're going to be working on, we're going to be using blend shapes and also eye tracking capabilities. So you're going to see what we're playing behind the scenes. And that is actually going to allow us not to only track the specific eyes, but also different positions of our face. And the second demo that I'm going to show you, it's going to generate a mesh of your face. And also we're going to be getting tracking information for both our eyes. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, I'm really excited about the video for today because we're going to be adding eyes to our actual mesh. So in this case, I'm using blend shapes, just, you know, like I show you when we were using the slot on previous examples and also the monster right here. So somebody asked me if I could do a video where we could do eye tracking as well. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. So I'm going to do two parts. The first part is going to be the monster where we're going to be using eyes and also the monster with blind shapes. And then the second part, we're going to be using a uh, face mesh, which is basically going to use the generated mesh. It's actually going to look more real, but you can decide what version to use. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, and, and also so you know, these eyes come from the asset store. I'm not going to be able to check it in into source control with those eyes because that is owned by somebody else. So I'll just have some placeholders so you guys can can also can actually test this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my monster blend shapes. And what I ended up doing is I, I don't have really anything assigned to this just yet because I want to, you know, I want to create everything from scratch. So we're going to go into a component and I'm going to add an AR face manager. And so, you know, I have, you know, placeholders for the actual, well, no placeholder, the actual AR session, AR session origin, and then also the camera. So there's a lot of videos in the channel about those. And then the, the actual, the, the prefab, the face prefab that I was using on the previous video is if you go to prefabs, you're going to see that I have gone on, right? And I could also add that to these, and that's basically just going to do blend shapes. So if I double click on it, you're going to see that it has the blend shape visualizer, the AR face, but we want to track the eyes and the, the way that we can track the eyes is we, no, we need to implement what I'm going to call the AR eye manager. So instead of actually, you know, adding this guy, we're going to be duplicating that guy and then just creating a brand new one. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Gunnam with eyes. And just know that eyes means that we're going to be tracking the real, the real eyes that we're going to get from AR kit. Okay, so I'm just going to double click on that. It's going to take us here and we're going to have to create a new script in order for us to do that. So we're going to go into a script. This one I'm going to call it ARI Manager. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're going to have to do some code in order for this to work. So I'm just going to going to have to double click on this. It's going to be opening Visual Studio and we're going to be implementing that. Well, that opens. Let me show you something else as well. If you look at the prefab, there's going to be a ARI. Right now we're using this realistic eye, which is really cool. And, but I'm going to be changing it just like I said, but that's fine. We're going to be using just, you know, different eyeballs. So by the time that you get it, it's going to look different. It might just be more minimalistic and I try to make a 3D, a 3D model for you and I, but anyways, this is going to be the asset that you're going to need. And just know that that asset is going to be under prefabs and then ARI. This is already being sized correctly. So if I go into it, it actually has a size that I'm going to need for AR. So. I didn't have to scale it. It was properly sized, but just know that's the one. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go into Visual Studio. So a couple of things that I'm going to need to do here. I'm going to have to require a component. And I like to do this because a lot of people ask, okay, what component is required for this? But, and then they don't add it. So this is going to make sure that you have the, you know, the actual component that we're going to need. And I'm going to be bringing in the, you know, the namespace in order for us to do that. And then in here, I'm just going to add a serializable field. That's going to be private. I'm going to do game object. I'm going to need the left eye prefab. I'm going to have two prefabs. So you're more than welcome to just use one. I, I'm going to have two just in case you want to do crazy things like, you know, having one eye be, you know, one type and then the other eye be, you know, a different type. Okay. And then I'm going to need another variable. It's going to be the face. It's going to call it, you know, AR face. And then private, we're going to also need to keep track of the instances that we create from the left eye and also from the, left, the right eye. Okay, let's go ahead and do right eye. And now that we have that, we're going to be implementing a couple of things in here in the start method. 
The first thing that I'm going to need is we're going to need a reference to the AR face that we have attached for this object because we need this object in order for us to get the information for each of the eyes. It's actually stored in that object. And then I'm also going to need the AR face manager. So it's going to add a reference to that. AR face manager equal. And then I'm just going to say, give me an object of that type. Whatever, you know, whenever, where, whatever you are, just give me that, give me that object. The reason for that is because we need to keep track of changes on the face. And I'm losing my voice if you could, if you could have noticed. <laughs> and then I'm just going to say, you know, as long as this is not null, just in case you're using a device that doesn't, you know, doesn't support it. And I'm also going to do subsystem. And then it's going to add the script, descriptor if eye tracking is supported. If it is supported, we're going to, you know, we're going to do what, we're basically going to be binding to a, to a event. Okay, the event that we're going to be binding to is going to be the updated event. And then it's going to do plus and then equal. And then if you hit tab in Visual Studio, it'll create the object that we're going to have to, basically the binding to that method. And then once we have that, now we can, we can implement, you know, and detect whether we have the left, the, the left eye getting tracked from ARKit or the right eye getting tracked from ARKit. So we're going to do one thing in here. I'm going to say AR face. And then we're going to say, OK, that's the left eye. Do I have any information for the left eye? If I do, and I have uh, an actual instance of the left eye instantiated. If I don't have it, that means that I need to create it. So I'm just going to say left eye equal equal to null. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the, for the right eye. So let's just go ahead and change. I'll just do right eye in here. And then I'll just, my, just copy that, put it right here. All right, so on the left eye, we're going to say, OK, left eye, I haven't created, a you, created you yet. I'm going to try to pronounce things a lot better. <laughs> and then it's going to do, give me the left eye prefab. And there's a typo in there. You probably saw it and you were laughing at me, but that's fine. <laughs> so it's going to be prefab. And I'll just do the same thing in here. Let's just go ahead and do that and prefab. Okay, so hang on in there. We're gonna we're gonna get more of that done. You're probably dying because I'm making mistakes. You're like, ah, Dilmer, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we have that, and then we're gonna also. I also want to name this. So I'm just gonna say this is gonna be my left eye. So it's gonna call it left eye. And then the last thing that I'm gonna say, okay, if we're tracking and we created it, I'm going to set it to false initially, and I'll show you why that is. Because we need to make sure that the that we're actually tracking information, that the cessation actually started before we start the tracking. So I'll show you what we need to do. And then I'll just paste that there. And then this is going to be my, my right eye. Again, it's going to be doing changing variables in here. It's going to be right eye here as well. And then also right eye in here. And then I'll just copy this and this. OK, so I think, let me just check left eye, left eye, I think. OK, so what we're doing in here is just instantiating the the prefab so it's going to be the cool the the cool eye that i show you in the scene which looks like i don't have right now but i'll show you you already saw it and then once we have that and we we have the objects instantiated we should have those objects in the scene but we haven't really told the the system to show them because we set them to false and the the actual activation so i'm going to do one more thing and this is something that unity recommends and shows in their examples they they do check the tracking state so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to say, you know, as long as we're tracking, let me just go ahead and remove this and then just bring the main space so we don't have that long code. And then as long as we're tracking and we have the AR session state actually being greater than ready. So we're going to do session state greater than ready. And then as long as, you know, we the session state is greater than this value, then we're OK. So if we have none, it's not going to, you know, turn the visibility on on the eyes. If this needs to be installed, it's not going to turn the visibility on the eyes because there might be some devices that need to be, you know, the, the AR session needs to be ready before we can do this. And this is actually a good practice to do just to make sure that, you know, you're providing uh, experience that is, you know, where the AR started before you actually start turning things on. Because, you know, the person might see the eyes floating in the air before the, the actual eyes are, you know, my AR kit are already tracking. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. I, I actually almost confused myself. Okay, so if this is true, we're just going to be, you know, setting the visibility on. So I'm just gonna do that same thing here for 
the right eyes. It's going to go paste, paste, and paste. Okay, now that we have that, we also need to make sure that we are removing. So anytime you add an event, make sure that you dispose that event. And that's just good practice. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And then in here, I don't need the update, so we're just going to do void. I think I can just do on disable. There we go. And I don't like to keep the word private. For some reason, I got used, used to not doing that. And then I'm just going to say update it. And instead of a plus, it's going to be a minus. So it's going to say, and then we need to tell it what our event that we want to remove. So it's going to be the one here. And then once we have that, it's, it's basically going to remove it. But I also want to make sure that I turn the visibility off on these two. So I'm just going to do that. Go ahead and paste that. And then it's going to be false because you know at this point we we are disabling this object, so we don't need to we don't need, we don't need to have it vis visible. And then I just clean a couple of things in here. I also don't like the name of this created, so let's go ahead and AR face update it. There we go. That's more correct. And I think everything there looks fine. Let me just check a couple things. Left left eye, right eye. Okay. So I think that code is good. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And now that we have that added, we're going to have to, you know, modify our gun with that. So I'll double click on it. I'm going to add a component. Oh, it looks like it's already added. And that's probably because I did this before I show you guys, just so that I could have everything correct. But it's okay. I'll just re-add it. Just know that it's going to be where the AR face is, where the blend shape visualizer is for this object. And now we just need to drag and drop our ARI. And also we can do the same thing on this one. All right, guys, let me show you the results of running the monsters with the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. You guys can see the eyes. This one doesn't look as realistic. I think is you just have to do some improvements on the 3D model. But you can see how the eyes are moving from left to right. They're getting tracked correctly. It's actually pretty impressive that you can get that much information from ARK. OK, so the next thing that I, that I want to do, I think this is going to cover this. We need to make sure that we go back into the AR session origin and make sure that we add or you know, or gunan, or gunan with eyes. I think I'm saying that correctly. But if I know, you know what I mean by listening to my previous videos where I pronounce things really weird. <laughs> okay, so we have that, and that's going to cover this. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my face mesh with eyes. And we're going to do something similar here. We haven't really added anything. So I'm going to be adding my AR face manager. And then we need to add our face prefab, which I'm going to be creating from scratch here. So I need to create a face mesh and it's kind of funny that I can do this so fast because I've done it so many times in the past but the, the first thing let's go ahead and add a, a AR face and that's going to basically keep track of your face and then I also need to add a AR face visualizer so it basically creates a mesh of your face and then the next thing that I'm going to need to do as well is we're going to be adding a, an actual filter so I'm going to do add a mesh filter that's going to create the, the mesh on the face. And then the next thing that I'm going to need is also a, a mesh render because we need to apply an, an, an actual material. And also we want to see the mesh. Otherwise, we won't be able to see it. And we can set the shadows to off. I don't really want to see that. And I have a material here that I already created. It's a pretty simple material. And it just basically has the Unity logo in it, which is this, this one right here. So let's go back into it. Go back into here, and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop my material here. You're going to see the material is there. And I turn shadows to off because it, it'll look weird if we have shadows on the face. I mean, you can do it if you like. It just really depends on what you want to do on your experience. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm also going to be adding the face, the AR face, uh, sorry, the AR eye manager to it. I think I'm going too fast. And then go into prefabs, and then we're going to be adding both of the eyes. And then that's basically going to cover that. It's going to be creating the mesh. And then now that we have that, I clean the position because I want to make sure I don't have any weird position on that. I can also look at the eyes. You're going to see the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So make sure that you have those as clean as you can. And then if we go into our prefabs, I want to go ahead and drag and drop here, create a prefab. And then we can now delete it. And then I'm going to go into my AR session origin. We need to go ahead and add it to this scene. All right, let's go ahead and look at the face mesh with the eyes. This one actually looks a lot more realistic because the mesh is getting generated from, you know, the actual, my actual face. So really like how this one turned out. Let's see how the eyes are moving from multiple directions. I also took one video where I was, I didn't have a face mesh. So I wanted to just show you how things are getting, the eyes are getting rotated. It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty insane how, how accurate it is. 
All right, guys, so that's everything that I wanted to show you. I hope you had a good time by watching this video. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just did, please let me know in the comments.